Hi guys, Luke here. So I want to do a quick review on Helium Rain as a hidden gem. It's a game I came across a while ago while looking for something similar to X4, Elite Dangerous and things set in space. So I'll give you a quick read of the Steam description. So Helium Rain, trade your wares and eliminate the competition in a cutthroat world. Buy new ships and stations to mine and haul resources. Explore the vast emptiness of space. And that's one thing I'd highlight with this game. It really is based on realistic space travel. So Newtonian physics. And that means basically that when you travel or apply thrust, that thrust maintains. So it's not like a standard space game where you get up to a certain speed and you stay at that speed and then you break. You have to apply equal and opposite thrust to gain momentum. And I don't expect, you know, I won't try and be an expert on physics, explain to you how that works, but I understand the basic concepts. It makes it a game that is very much in sync with films like 2001 A Space Odyssey. In fact, if I was going to go for an aesthetic description of the game, that is what I'd actually go for. To me, it's a very simple game, and look, I understand that the graphics are not on par with games like X4 and things like that, but to me, the way the graphics are portrayed are just absolutely stunning. They are really put across in that 2001 type vibe. Also, if anyone watches The Expanse, I know it's a very popular series now on uh, Prime, it also sort of echoes those sort of vibes, and I think it's really, really unique. The game is fully finished, it was in early access for many years I believe, and then was finally released. So it's a completely finished product. I picked it up I think for 7 euros on sale, and it currently retails at full price at 15 euros. I think for that price, that's really really worth it. It blows me away. The graphics in the game really really do blow me away. It's unusual in that it's kind of turn based, except when you're in a sector that's all in real time but you then take turns for things to happen. So it can also be quite a methodical game and you can alt tab in and out as you play. And I find that really enjoyable. Something I play in the background sometimes. Although everything in the sector you're currently in is in real time. You can fly your ships, you can dock them and uh, you can visit your various space stations and you can build an empire. The ships are all very unique. The combat is not really like combat in other space games, it's all very realistic and kind of industrial compared to sort of Star Wars. It would be sort of the opposite of that, really. It would be more based on realism and industry. So it really does put you at the forefront or at the helm of a spacefaring company where you can trade, you can buy ships, you can build stations, you can go to war with other factions. And I think I've experienced one major war in my game so far against the pirate faction and it was interesting, I got involved. It was a little bit disconnected in some ways because it's turn-based so sometimes combat was happening in other sectors outside of my control. But it still was fun and it still worked. Uh, it has a full campaign. Um, I think I'm decently far into that now and it's entertaining and I've really enjoyed that, and there's lots of missions and contracts that you can do. The only thing I would say is it is a little short on playable ships. I think there's 13 in the game, and I found that a little bit limiting. I would have liked 20, 30 maybe, but look, it is great. Um, it has full joystick support as well, and also the thing that really appealed to me is a full modelled complex economy. That really, um, you know, that really appeals to me in my mindset that I can take advantage of the economy while I'm actually playing the game. Uh, there's 25 sectors in the game. You can discover more of those as you continue. Um, and it just feels, it feels real and it feels extremely atmospheric with very, very good music also as well. So look, over on Steam, it's got very positive reviews. Um, I think that's the general consensus. There's also a mod pack where people have modded it. They released the code is open source so it can be modded and there are some mods that improve the game which I will get to. I'm about 40 hours in the game so far and I think that's going to double in my playthroughs. So look if you're after a relaxing 
chilled 2001 Space Odyssey type game, I would go out and pick this up without hesitation. It's a time sink, but it really sort it really suits the type of person who sits there and likes to build their empire methodically, and, and that's me. I love that. So look, Helium Rain, it's a definite purchase. And I really think that you should go out and consider it today. I hope to do a playthrough as well and demonstrate some more gameplay in future, but this is just a quick review of Helium Rain.